Now, the Metropolitan Museum of Art has attracted kings and queens and secretaries of states and presidents. Well, there have been an extraordinary number of people that have come through. One of the most extraordinary visitors was Bono. He came one Sunday night after hours, and I spent some time with him in the galleries. And the next afternoon, I received a hand-delivered note from him saying that he wanted to explain to me that he spent his life being looked at and that we had given him the most extraordinary opportunity. For two hours, he was the one who could do the looking, Princess Diana. She had the same response in walking through these galleries and seeing so much of mankind's history and the great beauty. People are really moved beyond measure around these collections. Can you distill your personal mission statement and, and into a couple sentences for us? What I consider my role to be is to exhibit, to interpret, to publish the two million works of art. Virtually every form of man's artistry is represented in our galleries from 5000 BC to the present time, over two million works of art. So one in an experience of a day or a week or a lifetime looking in the Met can really see the antecedents and how uh, one culture has followed another. And it's a daily revelation and experience for those of us who visit the Met. You're the first female president from the Metropolitan Museum of Art. Do you have any advice for young women who are pursuing a career? What, what would you tell them? To find something that they really love doing unless you can do that. It would be very hard to sustain the kind of learning that you need to continue to do to grow and to find your way into these leadership positions. 